Looking at these CPI figures and seeing the year-over-year -year advance of 1.8%, it's progress. We're still not at 2%. Um, do you think it is progress or do you think it's sort of qualified progress? I think that is, it is progress. I mean, we need higher inflation. Um, um, everybody needs higher inflation, ex except it seems Amazon with food, right. uh, um, uh, with the supermarket sales. But uh, yeah, we, we do need higher inflation, and those are good news. The, the biggest issue is probably on the wage side, how, right. how it is coming about. And we haven't seen much uh, from that point of view. So uh, expectations are still very, very low. So. Uh, it is good news, but, but it, it will not change the Fed policy right now. Right. Um, and as you mentioned wages, and you mentioned the wage issue in uh, your most recent note as well, you said for real PCE to strengthen, we need to see more support from the income side of the ledger. The income numbers today, hourly earnings adjusted for inflation up four-tenths of a percent year over year, uh, which is a deceleration yeah. in gains. Um, when are you looking for change on that front? If you know, we have been. If at all. Yeah, I mean, yes. Uh, at some point in time, everybody was thinking that uh, inflation will, will remain low. But you know, at some point in time, with all these news, employment is high, um, um, productivity is still low. Uh, but uh, we need we need to see unemployment rate is very low, almost close to the uh, all-time low. So at some point in time, we have to see some pressures on wages and salaries. Uh, for now, uh, Americans have been bringing down the savings rate to complement, uh, but that is not sustainable. Uh, so at some point in time, we need to see some more wage pressures in order to generate uh, sustainable growth. I mean, the, the U.S. consumer has been the driving force of the economy, so we need to see some uh, help uh, on the consumer.